Hello everyone today we are going to perform an activity buzzer activation using turn sensor to perform this activity let's begin with step number 1 Step number 1 is to arrange all the components required for this activity so this is the buzzer which will generate a beep sound once it would get activated so this one is the brain basically it is used here to understand the programming concepts and logics and this is the touch sensor we are using here to generate an output signal and uh, which is mandatory for the buzzer and uh, how we will use it when the user will provide input over here so that input will going to be used for the buzzer and that thing we will just manage in the programming language so these two are here are called or uh, you can say a three pin connector basically it looks like this from both end you can see and we are using this these two to connect a buzzer and touch sensor with the brain and the power bank is used here to power up the whole circuitry and basically that will possible when we'll connect uh, this power bank with the brain via this Uh, micro USB cable. So that's all for the come. Start connecting it. So I'll be using this three pin connector. So how we will connect? I will be using one end over here like this, and the second end I will insert in D7. Okay. So it would look like this. You can see it is connected now. For the touch sensor, again I will be taking this thing. I will connect first end over here, and the second end I will take, or I will insert over here. Okay, so you can even use D6, D9 if you want. Now, final thing is like to power up the brain. So to power up the brain, what we'll do? We will connect our first end of the micro USB over here, and the second over here. So once you will insert, so it got power up. You can see. the power is getting over here also and in this also and brain is also got power so this is all about the connections so let's do the programming and let's see how the output can be considered in this step step number 3 we are going to do a programming part and in order to do that three major thing you should keep in your mind number 1 connections have done properly and your uh, power bank should charge properly and the third one is the bluetooth connection should be activated before doing the program means it should be activated from here okay so let's start doing it first of all we'll click on this tinker orbit mobile application which is already installed here and here you can see there is no code right now the workspace is empty and these are the option from where i will drag drop my block according to the uh, circuitry circuitry or the programming which i need to do okay so what i will do so let's understand one logic uh, how it will work it will work like once i'll place my finger on this so it will take the input and that input will going to be taken by buzzer to get activated so buzzer will start beeping so it will be like on and off condition okay so let's do it we'll go to logic we'll drag drop this like in this way if you want to increase little bit the size of the screen so you can do use this option and the logic is two on and off so what we'll do we'll take one else option also so if we'll going to use for on and else we'll going to be used for off okay and here we'll compare the condition so condition is when sensor which is on pin number 8 okay when it will going to be high that is in output so then the buzzer will going to be b okay so for that output again to we'll select the output we'll drag drop it here select the pin pin number 7 and make it high also okay and in else there will be no signal or there will be no any input so i will do what i will duplicate long press duplicate put it here and make it low so that is very easy now so this is all about the coding let's insert this code and send this code from here to the brain so in order to do that first of all we'll click over here we'll select the brain name that is tinker it got selected now when i'll click this play a button so it will going to send and connecting it is telling after that it will going to say upload done or upload complete 
so it is done now and when i'll put my finger so you can see it is taking input from the finger and the beep sound is coming as long as i will keep my finger over here so it will keep on beeping the meantime if i'll not uh, put my finger so it will not be in extension to this we can even use other components for example like instead of buzzer if i want to use this led so i can use it so what i will do i will just replace the uh, buzzer connection from here i'll put it side and i'll put this in this way okay now if i want to do so you can see led is also working fine so you can even insert fan led buzzer or any output device from where you will get the indication okay so that's all for the act, this activity and I hope, I hope you enjoyed the activity i'll come back again for the meantime stay safe